folks, it's uh, Bushman again, attempting another screenshot news video. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to explain everything in here like some of the pros do that um, make this a theme of their channel and do an excellent job. I'm, I'll actually show you uh, one such videos that I would recommend following this guy for the next few days. I just happened to find him, Westpac WX, from searching this theme of this video, uh, Typhoon Hai Haiyan. And um, so I just wanted to do this video uh, just just to get the word out to to the people of the Philippines. If you have friends, family. Um, please alert them, help them to educate themselves if they have the means near computers or listen to the radio. Uh, hopefully Pagasa is, is on top of this, uh, which is the Philippine National Weather Institution. And um, uh, because ultimately we are all responsible for our own safety and actions best as possible based on the information we gather so uh, with that said I will tell you where I get some of my information from um, I should have said at the beginning mother don't watch this video it'll stress you the heck out <laughs> so turn off now thanks mom um, so yeah one of the main websites I really think is good is wonderground.com. It's always been very uh, easy to navigate, informative, and accurate. As you can see here, uh, we have this storm. It's it's out around underneath Guam. It's turned into a typhoon, and they're predicting because of the conditions, it will uh, quite very well possibly turn into a super typhoon. Um, as you can see by the uh, the graph here, the colors of pink mean it's in the upper end of category four by the time it hits Cebu. I mean, I should say the Philippines. Keep in mind these are predictions, but out of all the many different agencies tracking the storm, the predictions are all very close together. Very closely grouped um, so you still never know which direction these can turn at the last minute but unfortunately for the people in the Samar area uh, this this area is not looking like a good place to be when this storm hits and this radius here is probably like 200 200 kilometers of a radius where these winds will um, you know quite possibly be reaching and you can see that's a third of the Philippines this radius so um, please tell your friends family uh, you know keep an eye on the storm keep alert what, what we're doing is gathering some extra water and food, rice of course, and um, watching this storm carefully as the as the uh, track looks like it may do a close to direct hit and I pray it does not even come close to the center. Um, we will uh, gather up all of our important documents uh, things of this nature, uh, some important electronics that we don't want to get wet, computers, cameras, things like that, and put them in a, uh, a garbage can, tape it up, and put it in the center of, uh, you know, the most secure looking room in the, in the building. Now we have a uh, concrete house that held up very well during the earthquake we just had. I uh, feel very badly for the people in Bahal who have no homes anymore, which is a lot of them, living in makeshift shacks and um, 
now having to prepare for this quite possibly and you know just today I've felt two aftershocks and that would be even more so 21 you know 21 miles away from us here and we all where the, the centers of these earthquakes are so those poor people you gotta you gotta really feel for them they're probably at their wits end nerve shot mm. but on the other hand you know the, the the nature of the Philippines is a lot of people don't have access to information because you know you don't worry until it's too late or if it passes you, you don't worry until you find out later that it destroyed another part of your country and many people died like last year when the one went to the south uh, and killed over a thousand people totally stripped cities from the face of the earth so uh, anyways hate to get all into that doom talk but um, better safe than sorry right so prepare for the worst hope for the best is always my motto and um, always enjoy the high points of each moment which uh, happen all the time when we're not even paying attention.